three reasons the narcissist leaves you. Narcissists often leave their victims. Some people may call it the discard. But that's not always accurate. Because the narcissist often comes back. They often hoover victims. So it's better to say that the narcissist leaves. But the only way to prevent this from happening is by going no contact. Otherwise the narcissist will leave you at some point because they just see you as an object. You're just a means to an end. You're only there to produce a desired result to fulfill a task or function. Other than that, they have no other purpose for you. And when you're no longer able to perform, that's when they will get rid of you and find someone else who is able to perform to the standard that they expect, even if it's only for a limited time. It's very rare that the narcissist will leave their secondary sources of supply. It's very rare that they will leave their side piece or mistress. They tend to leave the people who are closest to them. The people who are doing everything for them. It all begins with seduction. They entice you into sexual activity. They promise you a future. But they don't want you to know why they chose to be with you. Because by withholding that from you, they can gain control over you. But it isn't long until they begin to devalue you. Until they begin to give you insults and put downs. Which will be very unpleasant for you. Because in the beginning, they put you on a pedestal. But now they're treating you like you're nothing. Without giving any explanations for their behaviour. So it doesn't make any sense to you. But it makes sense to the narcissist. Because they want to confuse you. That's how they sustain their control over you. But at some point they will leave you. When you are very tired and completely used up. Because at that point. They will have no use for you. But they will not give you an explanation for leaving you which will leave you looking for answers. It will make you wonder if you did something. Because they left you without any indication as to what went wrong. So you're left without understanding. Which is a typical thing that a narcissist will do. Because they feel entitled to do whatever they want. Without giving you an explanation without taking accountability for their actions. That's just what narcissists do. They don't feel like they should have to give a reason for leaving you. You failed them. You didn't achieve the standard that they expected from you. They don't really know why they had to leave you. They just know it was something they had to do. Sometimes they might give you a reason, but it's never the real reason. They just shift the blame onto you and cause you to question your own behaviours. But that's not why they left you. They may think it's the reason why they left you, but it's not. They may be unaware of the real reason. Or some narcissists may be fully aware of it, 
and they may find enjoyment in tormenting you and making you think there's something wrong with you. But it's just something they use to maintain their control over you. So here are the three real reasons why the narcissist leaves you. One, you figured them out. You became aware of their true nature. You understood a situational fact about the narcissist. You realize that they have to consistently provoke you. They have to get reactions out of you. They have to create drama and chaos. They have to make a public disturbance or an emotional display. You may not realize why they're doing it. You may not realize that they're trying to control you. You may not realize that it gives them fuel, but you do realize that they're trying to make you react, which then reduces the amount of supply that they can get from you. They can no longer get the reaction they want from you, which makes it difficult for them to control you. And if the narcissist cannot control you, they're going to leave you. Two, new supply. Once the narcissist has used you up, they will begin to devalue you. They will begin to seek out a new source of supply. They need to have this new person available before they're able to leave you because they're looking for your replacement. They're looking for someone to replace you. But before they're able to do that, this new person needs to be under their control. They need to be a good source of supply. They may feed off your negative fuel but once they've found a suitable replacement, there's no reason for them to deal with you anymore. So they will get rid of you. And then invest all of their time and energy into this new source of supply. Three, you're damaged. The narcissist doesn't want to kill you. They just want to hurt you. They will push to the point where you can't take any more. And then they will pull back. They will give you a chance to recover just so they can do the same thing all over again because they don't really want to destroy you. They don't want to take it that far. Not because they care about your well-being but because they don't want to lose the conveniences that you're providing to them. They don't want to lose their supply and it's not good for their image. But because they have such a strong desire for fuel and control, sometimes they may take it too far. They may break you down completely until you become completely numb. You're no longer able to provide a reaction to them. You may end up in jail or in hospital. You're no longer able to provide them with fuel. But they have no empathy for you. They feel entitled to do whatever they want. They take no accountability for their actions. So it's easy for them to move on and forget about you. All they care about is fuel and control. 
so they will focus their efforts on a new fuel source, who they see as likely to succeed and provide them with what they need. But this new source may not be ready to be advanced to the primary position because they damaged you before they got the chance to groom this new source. Which could create another problem for the narcissist. But when the narcissist damages you and breaks you down, they have no use for you. At that point, you're no longer cost effective. You cost more than you're worth. And the narcissist is all about making a profit. They're all about making a gain. So if you're no longer an advantage or benefit to the narcissist, they will get rid of you. Even if they're responsible. Even if they're the cause of it. From the moment they met you, they saw you as a means to an end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.